Okay. <coughs> Are you done? Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see in the title down below, yes, we're doing a video that I haven't done in such a long time. So I kind of figured that I've got some time to kill before I head on out. Let me film this video very, very quickly. Um, it's a collective beauty review with a little bit of a twist, right? So if you have been missing these videos, then it's back, it's back. Um, it, I gave myself a little bit of time to just try out certain products. So I figured, okay, give yourself a break. You'll do another one after a couple of months. So I'm here and let's just get into it. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. So pretty much the first thing that I want to mention is there's only one beauty item in this whole entire video. So if you feel like no, me, I'm here for the beauty. I'm sorry. The other products are skincare, body care, and hair care products. The reason why I figured that I must do hair care products and body care products is because, and skincare, I get asked a lot of the time, like, you've got such great skin, especially in the Mauritius vlogs. The, the comments were on your skin, your skin, your skin, right? And um, as well as I get asked, what do you put on your hair? So I kind of figured that, okay, let me make it slightly different. Let me focus on skin and body care, and then I will uh, focus on hair as well. So as opposed to mostly doing beauty items as I normally do. So what we're gonna do is get started. We're gonna go from the top down, meaning hair, then face, then body products. And there's only one product that I'm really not a fan of, but I kind of feel like I need to talk about that product so that you guys know. I don't have it here because I threw it out. It literally wreaked havoc on my skin. I was just not a happy chappy, but I feel like I need to talk about it. So, so as you guys know, I'm not really a big hair person. I don't really go crazy about hair care and, 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 and taking care of my hair. I do take care of my hair, but I don't do the, the most basically in terms of taking care of my hair. So the products that I have are just really basic products that have worked for my hair um, ever since I started using them. And I'm a creature of habit. I stick to what I know. If it works, it works. I'm not gonna faff around and um, use something else or whatever. I'm just gonna use what works. So the first thing is this. This is the Palmer's Coconut Oil uh, Moisture Grow Hairdress. And this is for dry, damaged, or color treated hair. The the reason why I love this uh, sort of like hair food, you know, we call it hair food. So I don't know about other people, but we call it hair food. Basically, I use this. It does wonders on my hair. The reason being I dye my hair. I dye my hair black every maybe about three months or so because my natural hair color is just nasty. It's nasty. It's like a, a dirty brown kind of color and I really, really don't like it. So um, I picked this one up and I really, really love it. It is great in terms of moisturizing and locking in the moisture in my hair. This is one of the reasons why when I touch my hair, it actually feels, I haven't put that my hair today, but when I touch my hair, it actually feels very soft to the touch. It feels moisturized. I've noticed with a lot of hair care products, especially for natural hair, it's hard to find ones that lock in the moisture. It's like I, I went through the struggles to try and find something that locks in the moisture and just doesn't disappear after a day, you know, and then your hair is dry again. But this one works wonders. It smells amazing. Every time I like, I'm short. So when I hug people and they can smell my hair, they're like, oh, your hair smells really nice. It's because of this hair product. So I really love it. It's probably like somewhere between the say 50 and 80 Rand mark. You can find it at clicks or disc cam. Really easy to find. I love this one. Love it. And then the next one that I use, especially on wash days and the day after wash day is this one from Shea Moisture. This is the coconut and hibiscus curl and style milk. The reason why I love this product and I have to mention this product is because, um, it styles my hair really nicely. So when I come out of the shower and my hair is a little bit wet, I'll take a t-shirt, sort of dry it off a little bit so that it's still pretty damp and then I apply this. It literally defines and makes my curls and coils look amazing. Not only does it do that, but it also moisturizes and nurtures my hair as well. So I'm a very, very big fan of this. And if you're somebody who's not um, into, you know, parabens and mineral oil, 
oils and animal testing and whatever, then this is a great product for you because there's none of that in this. So I really, really like this product and thought I should give it an honorable mention. The last hair product that I love, I'm just gonna use it. Ooh, I love it. Also, another one of the reasons why my hair smells amazing. This is the OGX Coco Nourishing Coconut Oil Weightless Hydrating Oil Mist. This I love because it gives my hair that shine. The hair food doesn't necessarily give the hair the shine. It just works on moisturizing the hair, which is great. But also, um, hair that's been dyed, I've noticed that it tends to get on the drier and just dull looking side. So I really love this one because it makes the, the 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 hair shine it gives it a very nice shine on top of the fact that it hydrates it as well so i'm a really really big fan of this i advocate it to friends to anyone who's got natural hair and wants to try it out it keeps the hair hydrated and quite soft so i love applying this product onto my hair after i've applied the hair food and the stuff so yeah that's pretty much that on the hair front that's it that's it and then moving on to my face now I don't want to lie, my face, I'm quite lucky and blessed because um, I don't really have that much of problematic skin. So I use really a few products on my face religiously and my skin has been happy over the past two, three months with these products. So I continue using them until my skin gets bored again and then I might have to change them up. So one that you guys know, I've spoken about this one quite a lot. This is the La Roche-Posay Pigment Clar Even Skin Tone Daily Moisturizer. I love this one purely because um, it's got an SPF of 30, which is great. And on top of that, it hydrates. It's quite a thick consistency. So it goes in really, really nicely. Thickish and oilyish as well. So it goes really, really in in nicely especially in the winter time i love this one in winter and um i'm just a big big fan of it i use it every morning um sometimes i even use it at night it really depends whether i'm feeling lazy or not or whatever but every single morning and i use this one in conjunction with this one and this one is gonna surprise quite a lot of people because i got this from my sister at miniso I was in Miniso one day and I was with my sister and we were buying sort of things for the kitchen like ice trays and trays and just basic, really basic things. And when we walked out as we were at the um, till, just as we were approaching the till, I saw that Miniso had a skincare and, and you know, uh, what what line, like makeup and whatever. I didn't really look at the makeup, but I looked at this and I thought, oh, well, these, these are interesting. And then my sister's like, no, pick them up. I'll, I'll pay for them. This is from the White Ray. This is the Skin Moisturizing Essence Cream. I really, really like this one because I feel like it does what it needs to do. It just moisturizes quite nicely. I use it in conjunction with this one. I'll pretty much dot both of them on my face and then rub it in and my skin has been happy. I don't even want to lie. It's been so, so happy. Um, at night, of course, I am still using the Peyo Blue Technilis, um Cream Oil. I call it the cre a cream oil because it's like it's like a, not a cream but like a gel oil sort of a gel when you when you touch it and you rub it into your skin it's a gel but then the more you continue as soon as it dries out it turns into an oil <gasps> Oh, and it is so amazing it smells so good it keeps my skin like a, 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 a moisturized supple oh i absolutely love this product this product i never knew it 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 shook me it shook me i don't want to lie you can find it at uh disc Chem, and it's really really good for blue light the whole design and idea behind this um product is actually quite fascinating so i suggest that you read up on it before you pick it up but i absolutely love this product it's and then moving on to body care now what happens with me is that in winter whew, here down my skin gets 
really 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 dry so dry to such a point that i'm just like very very upset at the fact that what the hell is happening so dry that my skin starts flaking off starts getting chappy especially around my arm area right here um uh, and uh, my thighs as well it starts sort of peeling uh just it just it's horrendous and i don't even sleep at night it gets so itchy that I don't sleep at night. It's so bad. It gets so bad. Um, so one of the products that I love, I discovered <laughs> before going to Mauritius. So when I went to Mauritius a few days before, I popped into the body shop. And if you have been following me for a while, years pretty much, you will know that I love the body shop. I just stopped using products from the body shop because i just stopped i tried out different products but i went into the body shop trying to find obviously small travel sized um just a shower gel or whatever and a body butter that i could use while i was away and i picked up this range wow 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 this is the <laughs> this is the body shop almond milk and honey for sensitive and dry skin um soothing and caring shower cream it okay. is absolutely amazing i love it so much that i don't even know like i don't even know i don't know what to say about it i love it love it love it that much um i started using it just before the trip for about two weeks my skin was starting to dry out i was itching every night imagine scratching even in the middle of the night that's how it just wakes you up it gets so itchy as soon as the body starts heating up when you're in under the covers it starts to itch like crazy and you're scratching and you're scratching and you're scratching and i picked this up okay and i picked this up along with the body butter and i was changed i was forever changed i literally i was so shocked when i got to mauritius i used it every day and my skin i did not scratch once and ever since i got back from mauritius i've been using it and i haven't scratched not even once anywhere on my body and i use it with a loofah sometimes sometimes i just love just smothering on it onto my body it just is ah oh, it's like a lap of luxury it's just so luxurious apart from the fact that it's luxurious it smells amazing too so these ones are new ones but i've got uh, more in my bathroom i'm such a big fan of these and i highly suggest that you try them out if you suffer from dry or sensitive skin they are worth the price i promise you like i went through a phase where i felt like okay the body shop prices are not doing the most but uh for the most part to be honest this is one of the products from the body shop that i can safely say is my best and my favorite one the other ones of course i liked them because they smell good and of course the body shop is quite nourishing this their body butters are amazing yes i don't dispute but this is one that i've noticed works it just works it's amazing it just works try them out try them out and then the last product is if you follow my social media you'll know two days before my birthday i got a tattoo so with tattoos as you know a tattoo is like an uh, uh, an open wound so obviously as time goes if it hit when it heals up it'll scab and it'll start to dry out and it'll be itchy like crazy i found myself doing this in the middle of the night every single night just because now you can't scratch so you have to just sort of rub this this there's the tattoo i don't even know how to show it to you but something like that and i've got it on the other side as well but what i want to share normally i use baby bum cream baby bum cream yeah uh the fissin one or whatever but then another friend of mine suggested that i try pseudo cream whoa 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 <laughs> one of my favorite products the reason why i used this product is because i also tend to get skin irritations like a rash around here from nowhere i don't know if it's maybe from the food i eat or if it's from maybe i, I don't know where it's from like honestly i don't know where it's from so um uh, one of my friends suggested no try pseudocreme which is also a skin and baby care cream it worked amazingly on my tattoos in terms of reducing the irritation reducing the scratch reducing the itch it just did wonders and i wanted to share this one with you because i absolutely love it 
This small nyana thing, this 60 gram small nyana thing retails for, are you ready for it? It retails for a hundred and something. So you need to know your, you, you need to know your life when you buy this. You must know your life and know that you're not going to use it like a crazy person and whatever. You, you're just not. So I would just put it on the tattoo and sort of rub it in, rub it in, rub it in all the way and leave it like that. And it would just do wonders for my skin. And that's pretty much it. So the one product that I do not quite like, I disliked it from the jump. Uh, Woolies has these, uh, these kinds of products. This one I like. It's a body lotion. And this one is the Shea Butter and Honey one. I love this one. I have this one in here for when I'm doing my makeup. And then, you know, I go wash my hands and then, pew, pew, you know. Um, but they also have one with a lemongrass. So I bought the lemongrass, the shower gel, and I also bought the body lotion. It reeked havoc on my skin. It's odd because lemongrass is actually really, really good for the skin. But uh, I, for me, for me, it was an irritation of note. And because it didn't sit well on my skin, I didn't want to give it away to somebody else. Next thing, it doesn't work on them. So I just threw it out. That's the one, the one product that I just want to, I don't want to lie, I didn't like. I really didn't like. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly different uh with a twist um, uh, video beauty collective review, collective beauty review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna go now and I'll see you all. Wow, the bra. And I'll see you all in the next video. See you soon. Bye.